conclusion. It is very useful to keep in mind the differences between the Bible and post-biblical theology in their use of the word heaven. Readers of the Bible can't go wrong by substituting sky or sky vault all the time when referring to the physical sky or the divine realm or when reading the Bible and seeing the word heaven. The abode of God and the spirits. The great Karl Rahner, greatest theologian of the 20th century. He's the one with the glasses. The greatest theologian, arguably, since, Carl, since uh, uh, Thomas Aquinas. Who is she talking with? Joseph Ratzinger, later Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. Okay. R A H N E R. When contemporary theologians speak of heaven, they usually are referring to a human state or condition of bliss and happiness, which is rooted in the vision and enjoyment of God, technically called the beatific vision. Right? The fact that Jesus is there bodily, as is his mother Mary, and, other, and human beings are also present corporeally, seems not to allow the denial of heaven as a place. But theology has allowed us to make distinctions between bodily and physically, without which Christians misappropriate central theologies, such as the resurrection, which is bodily, but not physical. Huh? And the real presence, which is substantial, yet not involving physical change. I mean, he's present, truly, really, substantially. We could add sacramentally. Physically transformed. It's been substantially transformed into Jesus. Yes, his substance. What is the substance? That which he really is. They use it to represent. In other words, what happens at Mass is a unique, unique, unique species of change. Resurrection is bodily. But he wasn't transformed back to physical life. Matter, energy, space, and time, right? He's above those things. So we say that we believe in the bodily resurrection. Do we say we believe in the physical resurrection? No. Okay. Heaven, seen in our developed theology of the last things, as our final destiny and happiness as beatific vision, is not the primary understanding of heaven or sky vault, in the scriptures. As hell in the Bible, by the way, is our understanding, 21st century understanding of hell in the Bible? As the biblical hell is the abode of the dead, so the biblical heaven is the abode of God and righteous believers. Have we enjoyed this? Let's keep thinking about these things. Hey, thanks for watching. Just continue the playlist for the next part of the study. If you have further questions, this is good. They will get addressed, so keep watching. If you found value, please subscribe, like, and share. As always, questions, comments, and criticisms are most welcome. God bless you.